Great History Museum is a bunch of machines that I got from the uh, Rosemary Hatem Bonsack Estate. And they, they owned, their family owned the Hatem store, which was up here on Franklin Street from uh, 1918 up into the, I believe, into the 1960s. But uh, Thomas and Tilly Hatem owned it from 1918 to 1930 when they sold it to one of their sons, Joseph Hatem, in 1930. And he called it the uh, House of Bargains. And it, it's at the corner of Stokes and Franklin. And one of their sons, everybody knows, is the, is the bridge, Susquehanna Bridge, Route 40 Bridge, is named after Thomas J. Hatem. But Joseph Hatem uh, had the store up here on Franklin Street. And all these machines and trade simulators that we have here. And the cash register came out of this store. The Bonsack family allowed me to purchase them, and I told them they would never be sold as long as I'm alive. And uh, so I, I got to buy, I bought them from them, and our, they are now part of uh, our history museum. But there's the National Cash Register. It's from 1910. There is a... A 1930s nickel slot machine, and all these machines work. Then there is a penny gumball machine, horse racing machine, that uh, you put your penny in. If the horse lands on the uh, the right piece, then the gumball would come out. So it's like a little gambling machine. And th this one just costs a penny. And then they have one called a baffle ball machine, which is here just like a pinball machine. It has... Five or six little steely balls in it. You put your nickel in, press it in, and each one of them goes up, and you count your points that are, that are up in there. And then they have this little uh, pinchette trade stimulator. It was sort of a gambling, little gambling machine. There's a little paper roll in there that has some red dots on it. You turn the knob here up to wherever you want to, to punch this little red spot out, which is what part of these are. And then you could win zero, up to two, a nickel, a penny, a quarter, a dime, up to two dollars if, if you push the right thing. So you'd put your nickel in, turn to where you wanted, and then pull the handle down. And you, that was another form of gambling. But these were, this is called a trade stimulator. Uh, in the back here, there was an Amberola. They probably listened to their music on it. It's the old one with the, the, the record discs, the round record discs. They call them the wax discs. And then we got this. This is probably set on their, their counter. They sold Clark's Tea Berry Gum. And this was the uh, advertising piece set on the counter for their, for their gum. So this is part of our Harvard Grace History Museum. I really enjoy and love these machines. A lot of people want to come in and buy them but they're not for sale. Sorry. Uh, if you want to see more of our stuff, or if you have any, have any great history stuff. I have a lot more Thomas J. Hatem stuff, but we'll talk about that in another blog. Check out our blog at bahookas.net. You can also go to our Facebook page, George Bahookas Wagner, click on photos, and scroll back through some of the old photos I've put on for everything for Hamburg Grace from the 1860s on up. Thank you very much. Thank you.